you're joining me on a wet, windy and rainy day because I'm doing something today to take myself out of my comfort zone. I'm going to be driving an off-road car where they should be off-road. And I've chosen the Jeep Wrangler. When you think of off-road, you automatically think Jeep. And since 1941, they've been producing off-road vehicles. This hasn't changed much since when it was used back in the US military all of those years ago. But what they have done is they've added bits to it over the years. And you end up with this, the Rubicon Unlimited, which has got pretty much everything, apart from sat-nav, because you don't really need that off-road. Uh, and the headlights are pretty bad, but that will be rectified for the new one. Um, and it's got this great silver aerial, that's nice. Um, yeah, let's see how it goes. <laughs> so what I love about the Jeep Wrangler is it's just no frills. It's completely off-road focused. And you don't need things like sat-nav and heated seats and heated steering wheels. Although this actually does have heated seats which is quite nice. Ah! Cattle grid. It's quite a wide car, um, quite long and very statuesque, which is nice. You get a good view of the road and this fantastic scenery. <laughs> so I'm going in hunt of some of the best off-road roads that I can find. They may not be the best off-road roads in the world, but they're the best ones that I can find today. So uh, let's go and have a look. Oh, you complete penis. <laughs> <laughs> you are a penis. So I may have got the cameraman slightly wet uh, and he hasn't stopped moaning about it since. Um, so Mr. Stoner, stop whining. The car is wet, you're wet, what's the difference? Uh, let's continue our quest to find an off-road track. Oh my goodness, I can't see anything. <laughs> Desperately now in search of fuel, my Mission to find an off-road road has resulted in me finding some enormous puddles, but not any off-road road yet. Ooh. Okay, so I've got big news. We've got a special guest appearing in this video and I can see him just behind this bush. So follow me. Jesus Christ. So, Donald Trump is here with us today. It's obviously an American car, so he wants to see it. Now, I think it was this one. Donald? Donald. <laughs> hey. Nice to see you again, Donald. So what do you think of the Jeep Wrangler? I personally think it's great. Loving your eyelashes. He's not particularly talkative. He is obviously on official business at the minute, so we've got to be a little bit sensitive. But uh, <laughs> anyway, back to the car. I'm searching for something out of my comfort zone, and I've not done a huge amount of off-roading. 
I'm more track biased to my driving style, but I do enjoy off-roading. I've done it with Mercedes and I've done it with Jeep, but uh, never with the Jeep Wrangler and never has a car been designed more for off-roading than the Wrangler. I have found myself some off-roading. Now we're talking. More than capable of handling anything that nature throws at it. Yes! Oh dear lord! Oh no, this is not good. So there are things that you can do with an off-road car that you just can't do with a supercar. And I found some off-road wasn't as many as I was looking for, but this is capable on-road and off-road. It's comfortable. I think it looks great and it's iconic. It hasn't changed for all of these years and it's kept the charm that makes the Wrangler so special. So I, for one, I've had a great day. I am covered in mud. My cameraman's covered in water and mud. Oh, you complete penis. And I'm pretty sure we've burnt through about three tanks of fuel in a quite a short space of time. but. Brilliant car, love it. Thanks for watching. Take a car out of my comfort zone and to do something I don't normally do. So, I'm not sure what I'm going to say next to introduce this. Uh, <laughs> here it is. <laughs> what? Welcome to a wet and rainy day. Stop looking at me. <laughs> I was like, Christian Bale, <laughs> you over there. <laughs> right. Oh, Christ. So you're joining me on a... <laughs> right, look away. You, your big old satellite dish faces. Okay. He's probably thinking, why is Ben Affleck doing something with a Jeep Wrangler? <laughs> I wasn't going to hit that time. Cool, right, I'm coming round. Oh no, there's some runners. This is not good. Big chunky bumpers and a pretty cool red paint job because people want to know what colour it is, obviously. Uh, <laughs> some people are colour blind. It comes with this unique metal aerial, uh, which is <laughs> completely modern. Um, but that's part of the charm of the car. Dating back to 1941, their heritage is clear in this car. Yes. <laughs> so cold. The look I'm going for. 60s drop. <laughs> yeah. Hey guys, I want to go for a shake. Hit me, hit me, hit me, shake. <laughs> um, so what am I doing? What am I saying now? So the weapon of choice is the Jeep Wrangler Rubicon Unlimited. Um, I've already said that. So I'm telling you again in a slightly more dramatic way. <laughs> I was going to stand there, but I'm going to get killed by Tom. Um, over it. Do a clap. Action. That's going to be confusing as hell. Yeah. Two claps. It's fine. Do a clap. I still don't know why I clap. When you're ready? Yeah? Yeah, yeah. Hmm. Ready? Do I clap? Haha, <laughs> that's a good clap, that one.